Now to the latest on Decision 2024. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden touched down in Phoenix around 6.30 this evening. She's here trying to win over senior voters in our state. This comes in the wake of a new study out of Phoenix that finds older voters will be the deciding factor in the upcoming presidential election. 12 News journalist Chase Golightly was there for the First Lady's arrival tonight and spoke with those behind this study. Chase? Mark, the First Lady's traveling to multiple states to speak to this demographic. Her visit comes just a week after former President Donald Trump also came to the Valley. In her second visit to the Valley within a month, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden arrived in Phoenix to once again encourage Arizonans to vote for her husband, specifically holding an event Saturday to speak with an age group that is known to consistently turn out to the polls, seniors. They often make the majority of the, the electorate. Dana Kennedy, and the Arizona director for AARP, really said for the 2020 presidential election, 55% of voter turnout was people 50 and older. So the organization commissioned a bipartisan group to conduct an election survey of more than 1,300 voters to see how that same group is leaning for president this year. Finding 49% said they would vote for former President Donald Trump, with 39% saying they would vote for President Joe Biden. However, among women voters, the candidates are tied. It also found that Biden led among Hispanic voters compared to Trump. The study also looked into key issues seniors want addressed. So we know that economic issues are extremely important to this block of voters. Social Security remains, you know, a top issue. Probably the, the single most important uh, issue for those over 50. Former Republican state legislator and current political consultant Stan Barnes also weighing in on the impact seniors will have this election. They are the ones that make all the difference because they turn out. While the youth vote is important, Barnes says they just aren't reliable. And it just never seems to materialize. And when they do turn out, they're highly influenced by people over 50 in their lives. Still, with the presidential race, U.S. Senate and House seats, along with several ballot initiatives, both Barnes and Kennedy believe voter turnout will be high. How Arizonans vote could create serious change for the U.S. We are a critical component to the national outcome. Now, Barnes told me he also expects some voters to flip flop from their vote in 2020, talking about Republicans who voted for Biden because they didn't like Trump. But after the past four years, he says they may take their chances with the former president, even if they don't necessarily agree with what he has to say. We're live in the studio, Chase Golightly, 12 News. Chase